Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n plus 6 times of n plus 5 times of n plus 4 times of n plus 3 is equals to 1680. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can use the nice uh, important fact and you know about this fact if we have x plus a if you have four factors multiplied by each other in this form x plus a x plus b x plus c and x plus d is equals to k then you just just check only one thing if you add these two factors and these two factors then you will get the same answer a plus b is equals to c plus d you just rearrange these factors in this form when you add a and b and c and d then you will get equal answer so now you can focus uh, uh, these factors here and uh, you see that if you can add 6 plus 5 it will becomes 11 and when you add 4 plus 3 it is 7 so it is uh, not equal so now we can rearrange these factors and uh, when you add n uh, n plus 6 and 3 then you get 9 and when you add 5 and 4 then you get 9 so now we can uh, rearrange the factors in this form n plus 6 into n plus 3 and n plus 5 into n plus 4 is equals to 1680 and now uh, we will just uh, multiply these two factors and these two factors as well so now first we will multiply these factors here and you get n square plus 3n plus 6n plus 18 and when we multiply these two factors then you will get here n square plus 4n plus 5n and plus 20 and this whole equation is equals to 60 and 80 and now we will simplify the terms uh, so that here you obtain n square plus 9n and plus 18 into here we add these factors and you get n square plus 9n and plus 20 and this whole is equals to 1680 and in the next step you will see here we have n square plus 9 and n square plus 9 so now first i can rearrange these factors in this form n square plus 9n plus we write 18 as 19 minus 1 and similarly here you have n square plus 9n plus 20 and we will write this 20 as 19 plus 1 and this whole is equals to 16 and 80 and now you see that this be the common factor so now we can uh, just take here y is equals to n square plus 9n plus 19 so that this equation will becomes in the form of y minus 1 into y plus 1 and this whole is equals to 1680 and now in the next step uh, you can see here we have y minus 1 and y plus 1 and it is equals to y square minus 1 and this whole is equals to 1680 and now we will move this minus 1 in the right hand side and you will get y square is equals to 1680 plus 1 it will becomes 1681 so that now we will just take the square on both of the sides so that it will becomes in this form y is equals to plus minus 41 because 6, uh, 1681 square root is equals to 41 so that here we have uh, two cases the first case is we take y is equals to 41 and the other case is we take y is equals to minus 41 and now we will 
back substitute the value of y and the value of y is n square plus 9n plus 19 so when you can put here then you get n square plus 9n plus 19 is equals to 41 and here you have n square plus 9n plus 19 is equals to minus 41 and now you can just uh, solve these two nice quadratic equations so here you have n square plus 9n plus when we move 41 in the left hand side then you will get here minus 22 is equals to 0 and similarly when we move minus 41 here then you get n square plus 9n and plus 60 is equals to 0 here you remember one thing is that we will solve this problem for the real values of n so that now first i can check is this quadratic equation has real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so here you have delta is equals to b square minus 4 times of ac and you know that uh, if this delta is less than 0 it means that it has no real roots and if this delta is greater than 0 then it means that it has real roots so now we can put the values of a b and c here so you have the value of b is 9 so it will become 9 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 60 and it is equals to the square of 9 is 81 and 4 times of 60 is 240 and you can see that it will be less than 0 and if this answer is less than 0 then it uh, means that it has no real root so if it has no real roots we will reject it this case and we can just proceed here this case only and now we can factorize this case so here we can make the factor of this equation and we will write it as n square plus 11n minus 2n minus 22 is equals to 0 and now we can take common n here and you get n plus 11 and we take common minus 2 and you get n plus 11 is equals to 0 and we can take common n plus 11 on both of the factors and you get n minus 2 is equals to 0 and finally we have uh, two cases n plus 11 is equals to 0 and n minus 2 is equals to 0 so uh, finally we will get here the two roots uh, two real roots of this problem so the first is n is equals to minus 11 and the second is n is equals to 2 so finally we have two roots which is minus which is 2 and minus 11 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos